What's up guys, Justin here, coming at you with our first garage sale pickups video of the 2014 season. Now, I realize that uh, our videos are probably a little bit delayed at this point, so by the time you guys are seeing this, uh, garage sale season is probably already in full swing up here. But I had to make a video for this particular weekend because I scored so hard at a sale on Friday. And uh, I'm going to knock on wood here and go out on a limb and say that I very well could have the find of the season in week one at the garage sales. So I will get to that find in a moment. Uh, first of all, I want to start out with what I found on Thursday of that week. There was one garage sale going on on Thursday. It was like an afternoon sale and it was in my neighborhood. So I figured I might as well go. And I actually found some PS2 games. Um, probably the coolest one that I got was this Call of Duty Legacy set, which is a Call of Duty Finest Hour and Call of Duty 2 Big Red one um, in this cardboard sleeve here. And it's in like beautiful condition, but um, of course one of the discs was missing. <laughs> I think the uh, the Finest Hour disc was missing. Uh, luckily though I thought to check the case before I paid for it and uh, I mentioned to the, to the lady when I was paying for it and she gave it to me for a dollar instead of the two dollars that she had it marked at there. And I grabbed a couple other ones as well. Um, strictly because it was in like new condition, I got Legends of Wrestling for a dollar. And um, this one was actually free because it's just an empty case, Tekken 4. I think, it, yeah, I had the manual, but this was missing. But again, luckily I noticed before I went ahead and bought it. So um, she was just going to throw the case away, but I asked if I could have it, and uh, she gave that one to me for free. And then for 75 cents, I don't know why the price difference, but we got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, SOCOM US Navy SEALs, and finally a Greatest Hits Midnight Club. So not a great stack of games by any means, but, you know, for the four or five dollars or whatever I paid for it. Um, not too bad. I guess te these were technically the uh, the first finds of the uh, of the season. So <laughs> that was Thursday though. Now moving on to Friday and I'm gonna have to do my best to to recreate this day for you guys because I had the spy glasses with me. I was not wearing them though because I mean it was it was like a cold rainy morning and it was completely overcast skies and I just I thought I would look like a total tool walking around with a pair of sunglasses on. So I, I had them with me, but I was not wearing them, and I'm kicking myself because this, this find that I got is, is almost unbelievable. But like I said, I'll do my best to, to recreate it for you guys. Uh, except at the first sale of the day, they didn't have anything. So I roll up to this next sale, and I walk up there, and I notice that they have a few Nintendo DS games. Um, nothing really that I was too interested in. But they had like an acoustic guitar for sale, and above it on the, on the wall, they had taped to the wall, they had a sign that had listed some other stuff that they were selling. I don't know why they didn't have it out with everything else, but um, one of the items on the list was a Nintendo DS. And it had a $30 price next to it, so I was kind of like, eh, you know. But I was like, well, maybe it's like a 3DS or something. So I asked the lady if I could see it, and once she went in to grab it for me, I noticed that she had two Nintendo 64 controllers sitting on the table. And uh, they were both only marked for 50 cents a piece. We got the Atomic Purple one here. It actually has the performance memory card in there. Um, this one has a crack on the back of it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I'm sure it still works though. I mean, the joystick is still like new. And then uh, this one was in better condition. And again, like new joystick. So for 50 cents a piece, I was like, all right, you know, we, we got something. And uh, then she gets out with the DS system. And it actually ended up being the red Mario Kart original uh, DS system. I believe they made another Mario Kart DS system. Oh, it must have been a 3DS for Mario Kart 7, I believe. But um, this system was just in like new condition. I mean, there's not even a fingerprint on either of the screens. Uh, it had the stylus with it, along with the checker flag uh, Mario Kart DS wrist strap here that came with it that had this uh, Mario Kart keychain guy on the, the end of it there. And, I mean, it's got a few random stickers on the back that I can easily take off. But, I mean, it still had a charge and everything, so I was able to test it out there. And, it, I mean, it's, it's perfect working condition. And uh, it literally came, I think, with everything except the original box. I mean, it had the uh, the charger here. It had the original wrist strap and another stylus. And then here's the game it came with. Um, this was bundled in with it, which I think is kind of cool. It's like this cardboard fold-out thing for Mario Kart DS. Got the manuals and stuff over here. And then the, the game is in this pouch here. I'm assuming this cardboard sleeve was probably exclusive to the uh, the bundle. And then it had all the manuals with it, even like the PictoChat manual and stuff. So again, for 30 bucks, I was like, you know what? I, I'm willing to pay $30 for that. I thought it was a, a pretty cool system. And so I was going to give her you know, $31 for the, the system and the, the two controllers. 
But as I was uh, getting my money out, I was like, oh, I remember she had those other DS games. So I, I ran over real quick before I took up my money, and I grabbed this one, and I, I just asked, you know, if I am if I get the system and the controllers, will you throw this game in for free for me? And uh, she said that she would, so I got Retro Atari. And uh, it was complete and in good shape. She had a price for $3, but again, she, th she threw it in with the, uh, the deal for me. So again, I'm getting ready to hand her my money, and I'm like, you know what? It's like, I just happened to ask her real quick, I was like, you don't happen to have like the system, the N64 system, or like any games for it or anything, or any older older video games, do you? And she's like, oh yeah, I do. And she opens her door again, and she doesn't even like go out of sight. Like I, she just reaches around the corner and pulls out this huge bin, huge plastic bin. So I get all excited, and she puts it down on the ground, and I realize that um, it, it's not like full by any means. It was just like the very bottom of the of the bin was had stuff in it. But the first thing that I saw on the top of the stack of stuff was a copy of Super Metroid. And so I just get super excited, right? And I got even more excited when she said, oh, she's like, yeah, I'm only asking like a dollar a game. And like there was a system in there and everything too, which I'll show in a second. But like, I was like, oh my God. So um, I, I get down there, I start looking at the box and there's this guy behind me, just came out of nowhere, absolutely nowhere. And he's kind of looking over my shoulder, you know, he's like, is there anything good in there? And I kind of just ignored him, like, you know, get out of here. And he gets down right next to me, and just all of my grill starts digging through the box with me. And as soon as he got down, I literally, I grabbed every game that was in this, this box, and I just cradled them all in my lap like this. And just, I was like, there's no way this guy is taking any of this away from me right now. And, of course, he, he, he's all cocky. He's like, oh, it doesn't look like anything I need, you know, walks away. Let me tell you, if this guy would have seen which games I was holding he, and, and knew what he was, anything about Super Nintendo games or, or whatever, he would have been absolutely heartbroken. So, he walks away, you know, I put the games back in there, and I count them up. She had like 10 or 11 games, and again, she had a system in there. So, I asked her, you know, what would be a, a bundle price for everything that I was getting? You know, I was already getting the system for 30 and, and the controllers and stuff. And she was kind of thinking about it, you know, and I said, you know, is 45 sound fair for everything? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. So she gives me a couple bags. I gave her $45, and I put, I just, I, I didn't even look at all the rest of the games that were in there. I knew that even uh, getting this for, you know, a dollar, I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just pay a dollar for whatever the rest, whatever the rest of these games are. So I put them all in the in the bags and stuff, and and I get out of there. $45. I got these two, these two, these two uh, presumably great bags of stuff. And so I go to a couple more sales, and um, I don't find anything else. So I get home ready to go back to bed, it's still early at this point, but I was like, you know, I obviously have to look at what, what the other games were um, in, <laughs> in those bags. So, I pull up the stack of games, I lay them out on the, my car seat next to me, and staring me right in the face is this game here. Now, this is the, the, the case that um, this DS came in. Okay, I took the DS out of the case and put this game in the case because I did not want anything to happen to it. So, and I swear to God, I had no idea I had this. I had been driving around with this for like an hour until I got home. Staring me right in the face was a copy of Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. And I just, I was speechless when I saw this. It just sitting there. Um, and when I realized that I had, I had paid, you know, essentially less than a dollar for this, I, it was just, it was insane. Um, it's in really nice shape too. I mean, it might have, it has what it looks like, it might be like a little bit of nick on the top of the label. Um, even if it is, it's, it's incredibly minor. The back's in great shape. So, there you have it guys. Uh, again, knocking on wood here. Potentially the, uh, the find of the season, week one of the garage sales for less than a dollar, essentially. Could not believe that. And it only really got better from there, to be honest. I mean, there's no more earthbounds in, in this box by any means, but, um, I was also very excited when I realized there wasn't one copy of Super Metroid, but two copies of Super Metroid in the in the in the bag, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" And then sitting behind that was Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Uh, funny enough, these were all all three of these were uh, Player's Choice games, so I'm assuming she must have got the system pretty late in the uh, its lifespan, because I mean, Earthbound was released released uh, really late as well. So we got those. Uh, we also got a copy of Mario Paint, big deal, you know. <laughs> um, I think I already used the back to replace one of my other games, so it's all like yellow and stuff. Um, but yeah, we got that. Um, we also got 
The Lawnmower Man. Pretty cool game, not one you see uh, too often. And then Super Adventure Island. Very, very cool game here. Um, I remember playing this one back in the day. Very, very hard game though, if I remember correctly. And then I believe the last Super Nintendo game that I got, and I didn't even realize at the time how valuable this game was. Um, this was kind of one of the ones that I saw while I was putting them in the bags, and I just kind of, pa I was like, oh, Capcom game, you know, I just kind of passed it off. I was like, that's probably worth something. Probably a pretty good game. Captain Commando. And <laughs> it wasn't until, like, the next day that I actually, like, looked this up online and realized it was, like, a $60 cartridge. I could not believe it. And uh, funny enough, it has a, a price tag on it from an old game store that used to be here in this town. Um, not the one that, that Ryan and I got all those games from. It was um, it was the same store, but it was the it was the previous name, previous owner kind of thing. And um, it was funny because this this store was always known for being very very overpriced. And the price on the back of this game is fourteen ninety nine. And I'm assuming that at the time that was probably overpriced for the game. This was probably like eight you know eight years ago or so. That was probably overpriced for the game. I'm, it must have been like an eight or ten dollar cartridge if they had it priced for fourteen ninety nine. It just goes to show uh, how crazy the uh, retro game market, how, I mean, how, the infl inflation, I mean, just, it's just absolutely insane. So, very happy to get this one, though. I did not have this one for my collection, so I'm definitely going to be keep hem hanging on to this one. It looks like it was a previous rental, has some, like, sticker residue and stuff, and the cartridge is a little bit yellowed, but um, it should clean up all right. And, again, very, very happy to get that one for my collection. Now, I said there was a couple other games in here as well. Um, there's a couple N64 games and one NES game. I'm um, kind of random, but um, we've got Rampage 2, Universal Tour. I still don't have Rampage 1 for the N64, so if anyone has that and maybe wants to work out a trade or something, let me know. I'd be happy to try and work something out. And then we also got Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. And then the one NES game that was in there was a copy of uh, Bionic Commando in one of these plastic cases here. A little bit beat up, a little bit dirty, but uh, it should clean up all right. So, like I said, there was a system in there as well. It's not like an uh, official system or anything. It's one of these FC Twins. And uh, it plays the Super Nintendo and NES games. I haven't really heard a whole lot about these. I I've seen like reviews of like the Retrons and the, the Retro Bit NES systems and stuff, but haven't heard a whole lot uh, about these systems. But I mean, it had all the cords for it and stuff in here. Uh, AC cord. And actually, there were some other cords in here as well. Um, she had the, a power cord for uh, N64 along with a third-party RF cord for an N64. And I definitely asked if she had the system and she said that um, it had broken a while back and she got rid of it or something like that, so she didn't have that, but oh my god, <laughs> I could not believe that. Um, you know, it just goes to show that you have to ask at every sale that you go to, even if it looks like they're not going to have any games, even if it's, you know, two, you know, an 80 year old couple, uh, with, you know, all they're selling is eight track, you know, whatever, just, you have to ask because you just, you never know. And I guess it's another point, you know, not just to ask, oh, do you have any video game stuff? But like, you know, do you have any older video games? Do you have any, you know, like Nintendo stuff? Cause I just, I don't think people... A lot of times when you ask, you know, they'll just look at me or whatever and just assume I'm looking for like Xbox or you know PS PlayStation stuff. It's just and they don't understand. So so yeah, if I wouldn't have asked, I wouldn't have, have had I would have had the controllers in the DS system. I wouldn't have had all these other games, including Earthbound. So ask, ask, ask at every sale that you go to. I can't stress that enough. So that was all I found on uh, on that Friday. Now Ron and I were very excited to go out garage sailing um, the next uh, the next day on Saturday because they were having the uh, annual Cherry Street garage sales. Now, I'm gonna put a link somewhere over here to a video from like two years ago, I think, um, of, of this Cherry, annual Cherry Street, like like whole street sale. Uh, it's almost like a neighborhood sale, actually. And it was one of the most legendary garage selling days that we've ever had, like two years ago. We went last year again and didn't find crap, and uh, this year was pretty much more of the same. But go check out this link right here if you wanna see some garage selling, uh, some throwback business 17 garage selling awesomeness. Uh, anyway, though, we did find a couple things on Saturday. Um, we went to, uh, we walked up to one of the sales, and it, again, it was this old lady, and I just happened to, I asked, you know, do you have any video games? And she was like, oh, I don't think so. And then when I said, you know, we, oh, we look for, like, the old Nintendo stuff. And as soon as I said Nintendo, she was like, oh, Nintendo. Like, yeah, I think I have some of that. So she told us to come back in, like, five minutes because she had to go look for it. So we walked up the street to another sale, didn't find anything, came back, and I just as she was coming out of her house with two N64 games, I was kind of disappointed she didn't have like this big box of games or whatever, but um, we got a couple solid titles here. Uh, Mischief Makers, and 
for the longest time I thought this was like you know like a 3D adventure type game. But um, I recently saw, I think it was uh, Metal, one of Metal Jesus Rock's videos, he was doing some N64 jams, and mentioned this one, and it looked like a really, really cool side like 2D side-scrolling game. So I'm definitely going to be checking this one out. I, I believe I already have it, um, so this one will probably be going to Ryan. It's missing one of the clips on the bottom of the cartridge. You can hear it rattling around in there, but, um, you know, no big deal. And the other game we got was uh, Mario Party 3. So obviously the, uh, the winner of the two here. And I asked her how much she wanted for him. She originally said $5 a piece, and I could tell that was just, just by the way she said it, that it was just the total shot in the dark price. So I asked if, I, if she would do them both for $5, and she was like, okay, sure, yeah. So $5 for the, uh, the both of those, great deal. And then we found one other thing on that Saturday. Um, it wasn't on Cherry Street or anything, it was, it was a ways away from there, actually. Um, but it was funny, we were walking up to the sale, and I recognized the, the house as a sale that we went to last year. And all they had was like a copy of like Cooking Mama on the on the DS. So I turned to Ryan and I was like, oh, this is just the house that had the, the Cooking Mama last year. And we walk up there and sure enough, the Cooking Mama is still sitting there. They had put it out again from last year. I guess nobody wanted it last year. I can't imagine they sold it this year. But they did have a couple other DS games. Um, the only one I picked up was a Marvel trading card game. Uh, it was priced for $3.00. And uh, actually, I think I got one more. Yeah, there was another loose card game on top of it that I put in the case so I didn't lose it. But um, it's Wario Master of Disguise. Loose cartridge there. And um, this one didn't have a price on it, so I just asked um, you know, what uh, if she would do $5 for the both of them. And uh, she accepted that. So that was all we found uh, for the weekend. Um, but again, very well could be the, the fine of the season right here. And I know I'm just showing this, but I mean, well, I got the Captain Commando as well, the two Super Metroids, the Zelda, um, just absolutely incredible. Again, you have to ask at every sale that you go to. Um, so I'm hoping this is kind of a precursor, um, you know, for what's to uh, what's to come. I don't know. Do uh, wish us some luck for the uh, the rest of the season. But anyway, excellent start to the garage sale season. Couldn't have asked for a better start, to be honest. Uh, so. I want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out our first garage sale pickups video of the 2014 season. And uh, until next time, take care.